All right, so let me start off by uh, apologizing for anybody who stumbled across this and give a little explanation. I decided I might actually start a YouTube channel called Get Off My Lawn because this is another YouTube video of me basically just kind of complaining. And I, I don't like to think of myself as a complainer. I think it takes a lot for me, for anybody to really, I'm not the kind of person who like feels like I'm a victim all the time. Like, oh my God, how to dare this and wants to get, and wants to throw a fit easily. Uh, but every now and then, we all run into things that are so ridiculous that I just feel like this is, it's, I, I, I want to share. I want to share and I want uh, the companies to be held accountable. So this is mostly like a live, this started as like a, a live Yelp review in my head because I was writing a Yelp review and it just took so long. I'm going to do it anyway. But like it would be better if I had tone of voice and, and, and I could explain. So here's what this is about and I don't think this is going to be interesting to anybody unless you want to watch a grown man complain about something really stupid while drinking out of a Michigan Rabbit Cup. Um, but this is mostly to this roofing company that I've been dealing with. Um, is probably the point of this, really, so I don't think anyone else should be entertained by this, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. So I'm going to tell a story, and here goes the story. <clears throat> and it's regrettable I have to do this. I don't want to do this, but I feel I should. So whatever. Uh, so my roof to my house, I live in Florida. My roof was damaged during the hurricane. That's what happened. I need a new roof. A lot of people had a lot worse, so so be it. I need a new roof. It sucks, but so be it. So um, I got the insurance adjusters to come out, look at the roof, and they got to do it's a, it's a It's a hassle. It's a total hassle. So um, I contacted a couple of different roofing companies to get estimates, and one of those roofing companies was First Class Roofing, who is very highly regarded on Yelp and online. Um, so I think they do good work. I'll never know. Um, but I think they do good work, but they had good reviews, and so they were the only people I contacted to do an estimate. So I got the uh, information back from my insurance company because the insurance company sends out an adjuster, and then the insurance company sends me a check, and then I have to you know cash that check to get the money to get the roof repaired. Well, when they sent me the check, it was made out to me and my mortgage company, so I cannot endorse the loan. This all connects, I promise. I have to get my, my mortgage company to endorse it with me uh, seriously, I have to send this check to my mortgage company. They send me back, they cut me a check for 95% of what the insurance company paid me, which is well below what I need to fix the roof. Another story. And then once I use that money and get the roof fixed, they send somebody else to check to make sure I did get the roof fixed. Then they send me the last 5%. All a big mess. This is not the point. The point is the... Um, Mortgage company needed a handful of documents in order to process the check and send me the check so that I can get to work fixing my roof. Um, one of the things they needed was what's called a W-9 form. Now, if I get any of this wrong, I apologize. I don't, I, I don't understand the ins and outs of it. I don't understand all the paperwork stuff. But from what I understand, the W-9 form is a, is a form, and I might be wrong on this, a form that companies used. It's like a tax ID form to prove that they have a tax ID or to prove... Something like that, but whatever it is, the mortgage company needed it from the roofing company that I was going to use to get the roofing company done so they know that I'm using a real contractor to get my roof done so I'm not just using my neighbor. That's my loose understanding. So basically, this is about me trying to get a W-9 form from First Class Roofing. Um, and from the other two companies I got an estimate from, by the way, they sent me the W-9 in the email within an hour one did it within a half hour, the other company did it within two hours. This place, no. So here we go. I'm going to talk about my experience with first class roofing and I've already used four minutes of your time. Uh, so eventually when I got the estimate, I called them. I knew they came out and looked at the house and I was like, okay, I didn't get the estimate. I understand they're busy. I called them up on October 7th and said, and left a message and I said, hey, I know you guys came out. I haven't gotten the estimate yet. Could I get a copy of that? No response. Two days later on October 9th, I called and got a real person and said, hey, I need a copy of the estimate. Can you get it to me? And then they sent it to me. So they did do that. When I got the estimate, I saw that it was dated October 2nd. So they had it for a week. And I guess they were just waiting for me to call to get it. I don't know. Whatever. So that was before all this happened. Now I need a W-9. So here is me trying to get the W-9 form. <clears throat> so here's how this goes. And this is mostly for the company. Because I only dealt with one person there. And she was very nice. And she was very polite and, and not helpful without being helpful. Um, but it's mostly for the people above her who run the company who I don't think want people to have this experience. I called on October 16th and I left a message for them overnight asking them about W-9. 
Nobody called me back the next day. I waited two days until October 18th at 9.45. I called and it said mailbox full. Couldn't leave a message. I called back 10 minutes later. Got a woman. She said, she, I said, I need a W-9 form. She says, we, she doesn't, she says she didn't know how to do it, but she put a note in my account to have somebody else do it. So I, she said, I put the note in for the other person and I'm not sure, exactly sure how that works. I was like, all right, so be it. That was on October 18th. Two days later on October 20th, I didn't hear anything. I called back to say, what's going on? I talked to the same woman. She said, I put a note in and I spoke to the other girl. She would get back. She would get to it as quickly as she can. And then she went and double checked my email. And when she did that, she saw that there was a note in about the W-9 and that the note was no longer there. It was no longer in my file that I asked for a W-9. So she says, it must have been taken care of, but I'll add it again. Like, All right. So she added it again. So we resubmitted for me to get a W-9 form. She told me that it had been checked off as complete. So most likely it had already been sent to me, but it hadn't. Um, and I know I can get emails from these people because I got the estimate, but whatever. I checked my junk, I checked my spam, wasn't there. So I was like, all right, that's cool. You know, I just, I just play along. Um, I went through my spam, blah, 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 blah. Uh, there you go. So I agreed and I said, okay, it's probably lost in, in mail world. That happens, no big deal. Fine, just send it to me when you can. That was October 20th. Three days later, hadn't heard a thing. Called again at 11.23 a.m. on October 23rd, and I apologize for being a hassle. I said, I don't mean to be a pain, but um, I said, I'm uh, checking on the W-9. The woman said, I put it in there for her to do, and I know it was gone once before, and we put it back in, so I assumed she had already sent it. Like, all right. Uh, that's the only reason that she would have marked that task off, if she would have done it. The only reason it wouldn't be there anymore is if she would have done it. I'm like, all right, I get it. Um, and then she told me that the woman who does the W-9s is out of town for a week. And I said, nobody else in the company can do a W-9, no one else can send it to me. She said, no. She said, the woman who has W-9s is gone for a week and I and we're stuck until then, basically. Um, the direct quote, if we need it, which I guess is fair. Uh, oh, I, I didn't, oh yeah. Yeah, no, I don't have a quote from that. But basically, she's gonna be out of time for a week. And then she said, I am almost positive she would have sent it because it was marked off. I get it, um, but I don't have it. So I gave him the benefit of the doubt and I waited a week. I waited a week. I sat in my hands, even though I'd called three times now for this one form to send in to my mortgage company just to get a check to try to give them money. But I waited. I'm like, all right, I'll wait. So I waited. On November 1st, I called in and I started with an apology. And I, I said, uh, I'm the person asking about the W9. And uh, so here we go. She comes back. She put me a hold and uh, she goes, okay, she's back. I'm like, all right. She put me a hold. Now she said, we need contact information for the mortgage company. So they needed contact information for me for the mortgage company, which I didn't have. I don't have contact information for the mortgage company, but I was like, I mean, it's, it's Ditech Mortgage. I don't know what else they wanted. So I gave them what I could. Uh, she said then they were going to fax it to my mortgage company. I said, no, you have to send it to me because I had to send it to them with the endorsed check. Um, and then, let's see, this was a fun conversation. This is a 15 minute conversation. All right, then they put me on hold to make sure they're allowed to send it to me, which I didn't understand, but I said, okay. And then they needed a specific person at the mortgage company I was gonna send it to. So without a specific person, they weren't able to send me the W-9. And I'll be honest, I made up a name because I was so frustrated at this point. I don't understand this. The other companies have given it to me. And I really wanted to say, well, listen, if you'd sent this to me before, two weeks ago, like you said you did, you should have all this information. But I was never asked for this information, so it's bull. Um, so then I gave them like a P.O. box for the mortgage company. They just needed stuff, and I was like, I'll get it if I can. Um, mm -mm. After three minutes on hold, she comes back and said, what she needs is the contact name and the address. I don't understand how this is, but whatever. I gave them the P.O. box, because that's all I have, a P.O. box number for my mortgage company. And I was put on hold to see if that was acceptable, and it was acceptable, so hooray! So after a 15 months conversation, of which I don't want to have this conversation, and this woman doesn't want to have this conversation, uh, we finally landed at, okay, she's got it all, she's gonna send it to you. Great, good, she'll send it to me. Guess what happened? Nothing happened. She didn't send it to me. So after that day passed, I left a message that night for them to get the next morning, Thursday morning, for them to get in the morning. And the message basically said, listen, I didn't get the W-9 again today. If somebody could please send that to me today or in some way contact me back so I know what's going on, I'll let this go. If I don't hear from anybody on Thursday, I'm going to call you back on Friday. 
and but you got all Thursday now. So I've been, I mean, I've been more than patient and more than given the benefit of the doubt. Did I hear back from him on Thursday? No, I did not hear back from him on Thursday. So I called him on Friday, and um, she said to me, the woman who handles the W9s has been extremely busy. Okay, so that's what I was told. Uh, she will be in the office in about an hour, and I will remind her again. And at this point, I offered, I said, listen, I will drive out to where you are. I will get in my car, and I will come to your office. Because I need to get this to get the check cash so I can get my roof fixed. It's been two weeks. Uh, she said, no, it's not that. It's just not ready. The form, it's, it's, uh, she has been so busy that it's been hard to get the form ready. So this was November 3rd. Today, as I'm recording this, it's November 12th. I have never heard back from these people. I have called them this many times. And all I'm trying to get is one form a piece of paper so that I can get a check so I can give them business. So I don't understand this. So I've come to the conclusion, this is probably wrong, that it's one of two things. Either they don't have a W-9 form, they don't have a tax ID number, because I did see something else on Yelp where the only negative review that Yelp, they had on Yelp was somebody who asked for proof of insurance and he said he never got it. I don't know about that, I can't speak to that, I'm just saying what I saw. But my conclusion is either they don't have a tax ID number or they have the worst customer service Ever. Or they just don't want my money, of which they're not going to get it now. So this is really not much more than anything of a Yelp review for whoever runs that company and for anybody else who comes across this. Don't use this company. Even if they do great work, which it seems they do, and they're nice people because they were nice, this is not the way you treat a customer, a potential customer. Like I'm ready to give them so much money. So I don't know what happened with these, this company or how this is even possible. That's how it went. It is regrettable that I have to leave this message. It's regrettable that I have to leave a negative Yelp review. I don't like doing that. I'm like co. Oh, I don't want. To, I don't want to say what I do. Um, but I understand it's difficult to run a business. But this is not the way you treat people. And I was very apologetic, patient, kind the whole time. I mean, they're just trying to get rid of me. Nobody's contacting me back. They don't want my business. Why? Just tell me you're not going to give me the W nine form. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I'm sure that the owner is going to respond to this in some way because I did see the response, all those things, which I do respect. But again, I'm left with no choice. I'm not picking on things to be upset about. I don't want to leave a negative thing, but this is, this is ridiculous, ridiculous. So first class roofing, Auburndale, Florida, be suspicious. And given my experience with them, I have the right to feel this way, even if I'm totally off base. All right. That was 13 minutes of my life. Wow. All right, if you're watching First Class Roofing, try to not let this happen to anybody else in the future because this is very off-putting. And I will make, you know, why would I recommend this company? Why would anybody? That's all I got. Now I'm just kind of bitching. So uh, thanks. I'm going to go now. Sorry about how negative this was, but that's crazy, right? I actually have another story about my cable company that would take so much longer to talk about, but I'm not out of line here, right? This isn't an everyday thing. This isn't like they messed up my food at the drive through This is serious. It's a lot of money and they just dragged their feet. I'm talking circles. Bye.